and I felt sort of at, at 29 that my, my only way into the Premier League would have been to get promoted into the Premier League. I don't think anyone, anyone would have signed me. So, um, so I was lucky to play for Crystal Palace at the time we got promoted uh, and, and that gave me a chance in the Premier League. It, it didn't quite work out there and I've, I've, I've kept working and thankfully Chris has shown a lot of faith in me after a good championship season and, and, and a lot of the boys mm. and I think we've repaid him. And did you ever doubt it would happen? Yeah. Did well, you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I looked, I've, I've looked at Premier League yourself, watched, watched match of the day growing up and, and I'm, I'm talking until I was 29 years old. Yeah. And, and luckily I got my chance and I think, I think the first sort of the f first season in it, it was sort of looking, looking over at, at other teams and, and almost like, wow, you, you finally made it. it. It took a while to settle in and, and I think I believe in myself a little bit more now. Really? Do you think maybe that was what was lacking then? Uh, I think me as, 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 a, as a footballer uh, th throughout my career, I've, I've always sort of taken a season to settle in as, as I step up and step up and step up. And uh, it took me a little bit in the Premier League. I came back from an ACL. I think I got one goal for Crystal Palace in sort of six months. So it wasn't great, but I got to grips with the Premier League. I, I started to understand what it's about because it's, it's, it's very different to, mm. to the lower leagues. Rather than just all technical ability and you know physical traits, how much... Do you think you look at some of the young kids coming through? I remember seeing some super talented kids coming through, and you almost had a feeling they wouldn't make it because the, the personality wasn't right. Do you think your your attitude and your personality is what kept you chipping away and then getting there in the end? Yeah, I, I, I believe so. Yeah, I'm pretty determined. Um, sort of, I'll ne never give up. Uh, hang around like a bad smell, something. <laughs> <laughs> But do you know what? Yeah, I mean, people are going to tell you in football you're not good enough or, or people are maybe going to tell you too many times you are good enough and you, you expect to get there. Whereas for me, I was told I wasn't good enough and, and that gave me sort of the drive to, to try and prove people wrong. Do you? Yeah. Sorry, Aaron. Sorry, go ahead, Harry. Don't, don't you think there's an awful lot of players around in the large divisions given the opportunity yeah. who could do it? Your lads here, the people like Duncan that who have been here, they get laid with their championship, they're playing with Brighton in the championship. They've come into the Premier Duffy or whoever, and they proved they can play at that level. They, yeah. But they wouldn't have got the opportunity unless they get promoted. Yeah. And that is, there's so many. You played that team at Bournemouth, you know, with the, yeah. with the Francis's and, and the, you know, Charlie Daniels, who all came from Leighton Orients and South Ends. Suddenly they're Premier League players because they got promoted with them teams. And, and I, th I think it's because they were just given a chance. Given the chance. And, and, and somebody believed in them and, and gave them a structure to play from. And yeah. I, I do believe that there's a lot of talent in the lower leagues. They, ju they just need to be given... An opportunity, and I think um, we go abroad a lot for players. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I, I, I really do believe that with a little bit of time and, and absolutely and a little absolutely. bit of love, maybe that, that we absolutely. have got the players in this country. Someone that believe they can in you. Step up. And managing's the same. Managing's no different. Yeah. The only way the the, the you know the Chrissy Hootens, the Eddie Owls, the Sean Dyches, the only way they get to manage a Premier League club is to get promoted. Yeah, Otherwise, you'd never see them in the Premier. What is it then about English talent and English managers that still get overlooked? For I think I think sometimes that we can get outpriced. Yeah. Uh, we obviously that there's the quarter aspect of it where where we need homegrown players. Um, so I think sometimes the the lower league clubs might make it a little bit difficult for the player to move on. Uh, unfortunately. But for me, uh, I, I played for Rochdale and, and, mm. and Rochdale, they're the type of team that sort of produce and sell on and, and that's the way that they sort of... It's probably also board. less fashionable, isn't it, for a club in the Premier League? A lot to of it is, of lot of it is yeah. that. Yeah, you're right. A lot of it is that. You yeah. know, that they... They are there. It seems more interesting because it's from abroad and, you know, plays... But I just think a lot of these kids need, need trust. I think you're probably in a position now where you can mentor a lot of these, these kids coming through and, and help them out to transition because I think a lot of kids have talent but maybe lack a bit of belief maybe. And, yeah, and belief and just hunger sometimes. Yeah, hunger like, for sure. They, they just, like the kids get treated so well now. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm not sure about other clubs, but our club, uh, our kids don't clean boots anymore. Yeah. And things like that. Like when, when I was sort of that age, like they were cleaning boots, they were cleaning the stadium after the game and, and they were looking at the first team and they were desperate to get into the first team. Whereas like kids have got it pretty good these days. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know what I mean? They, 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 they earn good money if, yeah. if they're at a Premier League or Championship club like if you're a, if you're a Championship club and, and, and you're, you're doing well and they tie you down to a good contract because they're scared that someone's going to come and buy yeah. you and life's good yeah. do you know what I mean and, and, and then I th then I think it's the makeup of the man and, and how, how hungry you are to, yeah. to, to, to progress and you know what happens when they get released from Premier League clubs a lot of these kids they get such 
good good money. Yeah. Suddenly they've got to drop down there and go and get nowhere near the money, and suddenly they can't handle that. You know, they've I'm, been paid too much too soon. And I'm not not saying these kids haven't got enough talent because they've got like loads of talent, may, maybe more talent than some of us in the first yeah. team. But it's 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 sort of here. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's how much they want <coughs> it. So what was it for you that made a difference? Was there a, a person that you came across? Was there sort of a light bulb moment where you realised ah? The path from here to there is a path of hard work and nothing else. Commitment, dedication. Well, I think when, when I got my chance at um, Carlisle in the conference, I would literally just run for the team. Really? <laughs> yeah, like I was saying to the older pros, don't worry about it, I'll do it <laughs> running everywhere. And, and do you know what? That was just my mentality because I was so eager and so hungry to, to just be a footballer. And that, that's, that's in the conference, do you know what I mean? And, and it ended up where I am today. And if someone says, what's, what's put you in the Premier <coughs> League, is your answer generally hard work? Scoring goals at the right time, I think. Yeah, scoring goals is quite important. Goals, yeah. <laughs> but they come from the hard work, don't they? I mean, that, it's all yeah. the whole thing's tied up to. A yeah, it, it is. It is. But obviously, if you miss if you miss those chances, those crucial chances, then you're not going to get that move at the end of the day. No, but as Glenn said, the only way he got there is to get promoted. Yeah. That is the sad part. There's so many yeah, good lads about who don't get the opportunity. The only way up for them to get in that top division is to get promoted. Yeah, especially at my age. And I'm, they I'm show 29. what they get there, and they show they can do it.